Okay, we are back again. Round three. Uh, we'll keep a good hand. And should be able to curve out pretty nicely. We're on the play. Let's see what we got on our opponent's side of things. Uh, okay. So a little company deck. Um, so we've got a lot of creatures out. Don't really care about path. Company's tough. Tracker gets some good value. Royce of Resurgence gets some good value. Um, so they're going to play land. I'll play Blossom. They'll go Voice. I will go Virtue Vent. And then I'll have Lingering Souls. And they'll have a Tireless Tracker. So the Tireless Trackers are annoying. But I think Bitter Blossom Virtue is just going to be really good here. And I can just block this. So... I think company is the scary one. I'm not going to beat them that quickly that they won't get there unless, you know, they really just don't draw lands. But if they don't, then it doesn't really matter what I take. Ooh, piece of candy. As much as I would love to cast that on three, I, uh, I'm not going to not play anything on two for it. Yep. So we'll go Virtue Invent. And we will be off to the races. So I'll probably go History of Penalia just to get a big clock going and save the Lingering Souls. I mean, we are trying to test the card out, so why not? Uh, right, it's 3 3. I will take the damage, sir. How did I? Oh, yeah, Thoughtsies. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, yeah, it's fine. So we'll do this first. So if they draw land, they'll be able to get a clue, which is annoying, but we might be able to beat them down before any of that becomes relevant. All right, so match two, we didn't see this card. Match one, it wasn't necessarily... Like, we played it a lot, but it wasn't necessarily any indicator. Like, the matchup was kind of weird for it. Um, this is a matchup where I'm really intrigued to see intrigued to see how this does versus something like, you know, the other token producer, like Spectral Procession or uh, Start Finish. Okay. Smiter's big. Smiter is big. However, I will be able to attack with my things next. The following turn and they're not going to have any sweepers realistically so unless they do something like maelstrom pulse but I don't see how that's a thing so I'm going to go ahead and attack with my flyers and then next turn, I will have seven flying attackers and two five fours. Seems pretty decent. It's fine. And I'm going to attack with a vent just to gain some life. Ooh. I mean, I think they're just dead in the air, right? Yeah, I don't... I mean, they didn't need that trigger. They, I had seven flying attackers, so... They were just dead. Okay. So, in this matchup... Um, I don't really know if they're a combo deck or not. Um... Thoughtseize is good for Coco, but overall they empty their hand pretty quickly. Blessed Alliance isn't great. Third Blossom Virtue is awesome. I think I want a Wrath. I think I want the Caller. 
for their bigger creatures and probably want zealous persecution over oops over landing maybe yeah this seems good they're a creature decks so this is bound to be good against hierarchs and birds or even just a brawl Uh, yeah, this is good. Question is whether I thought he's on one or not. If they play a mana elf, yeah, so they're playing Hierarch. I'm definitely going to thought he's ASAP. And then I can play tap land, sec turn two, turn three, something else. Um, do I care about oath? Creature, land, or planeswalker. So, top three, search for a creature. I think I'll take voice. Although it's kind of annoying next turn they can oath and voice. I mean, otherwise they can birds and voice. I think this is fine. The least amount of powerful creatures they have when I play History of Benalia, the better. Can be voice and birds, okay. So kind of annoying to take a turn off, but I am gonna go history of Benalia next turn, and then we've got soul start finish, all of the all of the things. Just need to remember oh that's annoying. That's bad. Very bad. Oh, they only hit one? Ugh. Yeah, they only hit one, but the witness get back Coco is pretty brutal. Well, so the option here is I can path or hierarch. So they can't cast company. Or do I just want to get on board? I think I just need to get on board. Next turn I can cast a So we'll see. Okay, well, had to land any anyway. Also, I have to say this is why another reason I like modern. I'm sure Legacy and Vintage are that way too. People just like playing the format, and they like to see what's out there and what's going on in the format. It's pretty cool. Oh boy. So I can, I probably want to path the tracker. I don't really want to trade and then also path the voice token. What I really need is a virtue or something. And at the main phase, whatever I'm casting, so I guess it might as well be souls. Because can't cast anything on their turn. So in this game, we're seeing the history of Benalia is just two knights. Um, clearly this game specifically would have been better to have them both out at the same time. 
but beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, we really need an anthem effect of some sort. So we're getting we are getting hosed right now. Gross. I think I'm only gonna. So let's see. If I block, they're gonna get a five-five token. In which case, my knight can't do anything. I'm gonna take it and hope for Soren. Even Virtue would be great too. Well. The other option is just activate vent to block or attack. It's either that or souls and start finish, which is probably the way to go. Again, I don't think they have any way of sweeping my tokens. Let's see what they do. I mean, now that I cast the souls, actually, I can't can't get the vent anyway, so not a huge deal. So just creating a stream of either chump blockers or hopefully creatures that will be relevant later when I draw an anthem effect. And I think getting finish in the graveyard is actually a, actively a good thing. Gross. Still on my turn, huh? Well, at least two witnesses are gone, but they still have three other companies after casting three companies. <laughs> First strike's pretty annoying. So it gets first strike without me, with me just having one ones basically is really annoying. Oh boy. play for the anthem effect see I take four I go to three I got shambling vent to gain life but I can't Cast anything and vent, so I think it's just vent here. Company? Yeah, that's bad. I haven't exactly done the math, but it sure looks like I'm dead. Yep. Well, now I'm actually dead because Vent won't be able to block. But I'll make him do it. So they're leaving Wrath as an out for me, huh? Okay. I 
forgot. Can do that first. Oh yeah, doesn't matter actually. <laughs> that I think about it. it doesn't. I, I was just shortcutting into well, it's not a creature yet, so they can't interact with it. But that doesn't do anything. All right, so we're playing Wrath here. I think if they had attacked with everything. Maybe they're afraid to settle the wreckage. Um, yeah, I mean, going to two or one's the same, but I'm just kind of dead regardless. So, yeah, they attacked with everything. They would have had it. Wrath. Uh, okay. Game tree. So it was a little too late there. Um, I think I like this. Collar's not great, but it's good against big creatures. And Zealous is fine with Thalia and Witnesses and Birds of Paradise and Normal Hierarchs and all that stuff. So let's run it back. They just pounded us that mat, that game. Not much could have done, and we were still live to a wrath out. That would have been pretty ridiculous. Because I didn't see a selfless spirit. Would like to play first. Um, yeah, another keepable hand. And do I want to fetch shock thoughtsies? Probably not. Not with Thoughtseize and Bitter Blossom. I might just. It's annoying to not have two white necessarily, but so be it. Uh, always take the bird, right? Pride Mage is annoying actually. So Cost want to do that. So we could pack. We're gonna play Plains, Bitter Blossom, and then. Yeah, but I don't want to have to path the hierarch, so let's go ahead and just do that. Alright, perfect. Assume he's talking about discard spells. Um, so, can't cast my History Benalia, which is annoying. And I even have my Soren out. Can't cast anything, really. I just have to leave up the path. That's annoying. But I will have to path it. Because then I can't play anything otherwise. And unfortunately that does mean the uh, Pride Mage is probably live if they drew a land. Yeah, they did. Yep. I mean, it's a one for one, but I got a token out of it. So it's not the end of the world, but still annoying. So luckily I do have a good amount of token makers here. Do that, we'll do that. Stat, okay. Well, now we got Soren. If we want it. Question is, do I want to land it now? Probably.
probably not yet. And who knows, maybe Souls is better there, just given the fact that they're going to start attacking with flying lifelinkers, but I think this is still fine. Hmm. Oh, I must have misclicked. It's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Sure. So we know their hand. Uh, well, it is tempting, but I think I just want to get sword out. Uh, tempting to cast virtue, but okay, they're trading. Okay. I guess they're scared about the following turn, which is fair. They will have some Titan, though. Turn, turn. Oh, wow, so they get to return Tracker. Yeah, no Titan's a real card. attack there um, so maybe that's where just playing souls would have been better who knows double virtue huh um, so that would let me attack with the knight because it would be Five, six, five, and then a seven, five potentially. But I think I just need to do this. Oh, minus, maybe actually. I'll get the Pride Mage back, which is annoying. So yeah, again, we'll, we'll note for the purposes of testing out History of Medallia that this could have been, I mean, as a 4-3, it could have been a 5-3. Can attack through most things, uh, but a Titan is not one of them. But again, that's not really the norm here. So I needed to get a path for that Titan. So now they get the Pride Mage back. And I don't really... Which will get rid of one Virtue. Try to keep as many flyers as possible, I think. Um, I can make them crack two clues, but I don't think that matters. And I can't cast Souls, Virtue, and Virtue. So... That's not an out. But I can draw a removal spell. Okay, so... Problem is I need to have Virtue out. But I also need to have more tokens out. 
Otherwise, right now, I'll attack for... Uh, I'll attack for 10 Vigilant. It's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Assuming they kill one of the virtues. Otherwise, I flash back souls. I can't attack with vigilance. But I can attack. But then they just get Pride Mage back again. So I think I need to take my Vigilance turn. Try to get in there for as much as possible in the air. Hope they don't have a path. And I might be able to squeak it out eventually. It does change things, but not enough. Just means my Soren may or may not die. So the next turn I'll attack of the Titan, get the Pride Mage back again, hit the other virtue. But I still have some lethal flyers in the air. They can Ewit get back company. Hmm. So Soren's going to die unless I block with everything. And they can hit the Virtue with the Pride Mage. They have eight mana. So they can do that and E-Witness into company. I feel like they're just dead in the air though. I could try to block, force them to crack a clue. But even then that wouldn't do anything. I think I just let Soren die and just see if I can beat him in the air. If it doesn't work, then I still have two more tokens in the graveyard. We'll have to see. And they're going to have to take a damage from the canopy. At least one damage. And I don't know what they could draw. Okay, well that's good. Let's just attack. Yep. So as long as one of these gets through, we're good. Actually, it doesn't matter. Now that they're going to, yeah, now that they're going to one, brutality is just lethal anyway. So, cool. Looks like we got this one. Always like the friendly opponents. Um, great, yeah, we had it a couple different ways. And even then, like, we had the brutality. We also had, again, two more flyers. And I think it'd be hard for them to kill us next turn with being at 30, 6, 12, 14, 16, 18. So yeah, we would have been fine. So 
anyway, um, that was cool. Good game. Um, got to see History of Anaya play out for real a little bit this match, which was nice. Um, and a little bit different of a card and seemed okay. Um, so yeah, we'll be back for round four.